Welcome to Kama Jojo Outdoors World. Here you will discover the finest animal videos and hunting equipment. Days ago, a woman was walking her two German shepherds near her home when the three of them encountered a wild bear. She remembered her parents telling her to be loud and act big whenever she came across a bear in the wild. Unfortunately, this strategy backfired, and the bear charged her instead. This is what has been reported from the bear then swatted the victim to the ground, bit her left leg twice above the knee, tossed her to the side, and kept biting. At that point, the only thing the victim could think to do was play dead in the hopes that the bear would leave him alone. She buried her face in her arms and rolled face down, at which point the bear lost interest and wandered off. That must have been a terrifying ordeal. Exactly what steps should be taken if a bear encounter occurs? Be loud and act big? Or just play dead? Bear attacks are unusual because most bears are only concerned with defending their territory, cubs, or food. But getting your head in the game can help you respond better. While every circumstance is unique, general differences between brown bear and black bear attacks are outlined below. Keep your cool, bears typically aren't out to harm humans and would rather be left alone. A yell or a jarring motion could provoke an attack. Don't make a high-pitched squeal or noise is meant to mimic bears. When cornered, bears may pretend to charge before suddenly reversing course. When threatened, bears may lay their ears back, growl, snap their jaws, yawn, salivate, and growl as defensive responses. Maintain your calm by continuing to speak to the bear in low tones. Doing so will help you avoid frightening it and will have no effect on your own sanity. Identify yourself to the bear so it knows you are not prey by speaking calmly and clearly. Stay put and slowly wave your arms in the air. Try to get the bear to understand that you are human. To get a better look or smell, it might come closer or stand on its hind legs. Standing bears are more likely to be curious than dangerous. In the event that you and your young children encounter a bear, you should get them right away. Never yell or make any other loud noises, as the bear may confuse them with the sound of a potential meal. Waving your arms slowly above your head will send a message to the bear that you want it to back off. Avoid running or making any jerky motions. Screaming or making other loud noises could confuse a bear's hearing with that of a prey animal, so refrain from doing so. Hiking and other forms of travel are safer if done in groups. Collective human activity tends to generate more sound and odor than does individual human activity. Bears can therefore detect human groups from further away, and the sheer size of a crowd can be intimidating to them. Moving away slowly and to the sides will allow you to keep an eye on the bear and prevent you from tripping if it remains stationary. In addition to being completely safe, moving sideways also avoids alarming bears. Don't try to outrun the bear by speeding off or hiding in a tree, instead, stand your ground if the animal pursues. Bears have the same uphill and downhill speed as a racehorse. They have the canine tendency to chase after fleeing prey. In addition, Grizzlies and black bears share the ability to ascend trees. If a mother is with her cubs, you should exercise extreme caution and never come between the two of them. If she thinks you're going to hurt her cubs, she's much more likely to attack. That's all the news we have for now. What about bears? Have you seen any? Also, do you have any other bear-proofing tips to share? Leave a comment. Well, that's all. Like what you see. Consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you.